What is Anything Goes Martial Arts? It is what the name implies. All over the world there are countless different types of martial arts, thousands of fighting styles, and millions of different techniques. Anything Goes Martial Arts is a kind of universal knowledge. To stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any opponent and not only play their own game, but defeat them at it. That is why Rama and Gemma traveled for as long as they did. To see the world, absorb the different fighting styles, and create an unbeatable martial art in the process. However, some opponents have thrown Rama for a loop. They have challenged him in ways he never thought possible. Rama mainly trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but little did he know there was martial arts in just about everything. As far as martial arts go, you just don't get much more unorthodox than Sotatsu Jikein, the master of martial arts calligraphy. At face value, he doesn't seem like much, Almost looks like he wandered into the wrong anime. But take note of the giant paintbrush slung over his shoulder. That is where his true power lies. The rules of martial arts calligraphy are as follows. The pugilists each wield a giant paintbrush and are given a blank canvas. A third party reveals the Japanese symbol they are to draw. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. I am the referee, Tatewaki Kuno, also known as the Blue Thunder of Furrington High. Then let us begin! Now, was all that really necessary? Anyway, whomever draws the symbol first is the winner, and contestants are allowed to do everything in their power to keep the other from finishing. The symbol must be correct and legible, otherwise it doesn't count. Any Japanese character is considered fair game, though often they are of the kanji or han character variety, a style originated from Chinese importing and favored due to their high degree of difficulty to read and write. So Tatsu's attacks are as unmerciful as they come. So proficient is he at the art of the brush that he can write by throwing the paint. He can stamp his mark from a mile away and usually take out an opponent with it. He can also maim his opponents with moves like the Black Star Letter, which is similar to Rama's Amaguri Ken, and the Paper Whip Projectile Attack. He can blind his opponents with his White Paper Attack and negate his opponent's hard work with the dreaded red ink spray. When it comes to martial arts calligraphy, Sotatsu Jikein is one bad mother. Sotatsu is a vain young man. Not only does he obsess with his own physical appearance, but he will not face an opponent in the calligraphy challenge unless he proves himself worthy. He accepts sample texts from wannabe opponents, and he will judge them on their penmanship. Only the cream of the crop can meet him in the squared circle. Therein lies the problem for Ranma Saotome. His penmanship, not to mention his grammar and spelling, is deplorable. He can only write in nervous chicken scratch. Because of this, Sotatsu won't grant him an audience, and it drives him insane. Ranma is a pioneer of anything goes martial arts. And even if he is not good at something, he must rise to the challenge every time. Sotatsu's favorite character unto which he tests his opponent's skills is the Japanese symbol for infinity. This particular symbol requires all the brush techniques of calligraphy to create. These are techniques that Rama Saotome may never have through any amount of practice. In fact, if Ryoga ever wanted to defeat Ranma, a surefire way would be to challenge him in martial arts calligraphy, for Ryoga has Beautiful penmanship. Now suppose, by some stroke of luck, Rama passes the test and Sotatsu welcomes his challenge. Then what? Rama's situation is hopeless. He's outclassed, outgunned, and outmatched. It would be like putting Leader One from the GoBots up against Optimus Prime, a slaughter! But Rama has a slight chance of winning, providing that he takes advantage of his opponent's one true weakness, and it's a fatal one at that. You see, so Tatsu, although very stern and serious when in front of people, he has a little case of the giggles that he tries his best to hide from everybody. And it doesn't take much to set it off. <laughs> what a nutball! Remember what I said earlier about this guy being in the wrong anime? I take that back, he fits right in. If Ranma can provide some kind of amusing distraction during the battle, it's possible Sotatsu may be rendered helpless to his own laughter, leaving Ranma uninterrupted writing time. 
Having experienced the world of martial arts calligraphy, Rama can hang up his coat and call it a day. For certainly he has now participated in every nook and cranny of anything goes martial arts. That is, until he's introduced to the world of martial arts dining. Martial arts shogi. Martial arts tea ceremony. Martial arts takeout. Martial arts cheerleading. Martial arts rhythmic gymnastics. And so on and so on and so on. Don't unlace that gi just yet, Ranma Saotome. You've got a lot of work to do. This has been a Runma 1 half character profile!